Hey guys, welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I want to show you how you can change the language in Adobe Premiere Pro 2020. So as you can see here, I have the latest version of Adobe Premiere Pro here. And yeah, let's talk not too much and open Premiere Pro. So now you can see that I have error code. So just ignore that. It's from my graphic card. I don't know how I could solve this problem as this graphic card is on the latest version but Adobe says it's not so I don't know so you will probably not have that problem so let's open it here you can already see that everything is in German and yeah we are gonna change it into English now so I'm gonna make a new project in this case I call it test2 and open it so as you can see now, everything is in German in here. Everything is in another language. So what we need to do now is open the console. So I have a Windows, so I press Ctrl plus F12. And then the console opens up. In case you have a Mac, you need to press Command plus Fn plus F12. And then you are in here and it's quite easy. You can make this bigger or shorter and you go up here and click on debug database view. So now we come in here and it looks quite confusing, but we ignore everything in here. We just go down and look for this here, for the application language. So here you can see de underscore de. So this means that the language is in German and I don't want that anymore. So I click on in here and only erase the de here. Never ever do something down there or I don't know. Just in the application language, you erase de and write in en underscore en for English. So now get out so that it is not marked anymore. Then close this and close Premiere. So it's important to close Premiere after you have done the language change in order that it can't change it. So now I'm gonna open it again. And you can already see that this report is already in English. And now you can see here, file edit clip. I can open the, the project we have made before. And now you can see assembly, editing, color. Everything is now in English and we already finished. That's quite easy compared to Photoshop or Lightroom. They have finally made it that you can change the language in the program itself. The language is in English now and I hope I could help you with this tutorial. And yeah, thanks for watching and have a good day.